Before I actually got a chance to watch this film, I was genuinely excited for the mashup of Zack Snyder, Seven Samurai, and Star Wars, and honestly, I am so disappointed. So Rebel Moon follows this band of rebels who are being put together by these two people from a farm planet to fight off this maniacal evil galactic force that's taken over the galaxy and they're kind of referred to as like the mother world I think it was. Despite the fact that this might sound like a pretty interesting film, it's all bogged down by exposition. Because this isn't a Star Wars film like Zack Snyder initially intended it to be, so there needs to be all this exposition to explain certain things and why they are there, and you can just see that this was really meant to be a Star Wars film, and because now in part one of these Rebel Moon films we got all the exposition, part two should be better. I'm actually a little excited for part two just because it should have the good aspects of this film plus less exposition in more just exciting action sequences. And that's when this film was at its strongest. The action was really solid and at times the VFX was also pretty good but it was kind of in and out with the VFX where in certain scenes it looked good and in other ones it looked like a PlayStation 4 game, so, you know, this film just couldn't really pick its side when it came to the VFX. So hopefully, going back to part two, because it's coming out in April, they have more time just to work on the VFX and make it look better for that film, which is again why I'm a little excited for part two. But the issue with this being a part one and a part two story is that you kind of need to watch this bad film to watch what might be an okay part two film. You know, because this film needs to explain the lore of the entire world that it establishes, not even the world, the entire universe that it tries to establish. And yeah, it's just, it's so big. The writing is really weak. The dialogue, there were just certain lines in this film that I heard people say, and I was like, how is that a line of dialogue? You know, it was just, it was bad. And also the slow-mo, I mean, Zack Snyder went all out on the slow-mo, even for rice dropping, like grains of rice just dropping on the ground. He had slow-mo of that. Why? I don't know. I guess it looked cool in the eyes of Zack Snyder. To me, it was, it was just a stupid waste of 10 seconds that could have been cut off of this film to make it a little shorter. And that's another issue with this film. There are a lot of moments where you could have just cut it and made this film a little shorter, and that would have made it better. This film would have been a little bit better if it was just a bit shorter because with all the exposition, this two hour and 10 minute movie essentially feels a lot more like a three hour movie. It feels a lot closer to the length of like the actual Seven Samurai film than it does to the length of just a regular Star Wars movie. Even though when you look at the numbers, it looks a lot closer in length to, to a Star Wars movie. It just, it doesn't feel like it. The pacing is horrible. And at one point you're just going from world to world to world, picking up a person and it just, it feels like the same thing over and over again. And you know, something else is just, Zack steals from a lot of other things in this film. At one point you just see a hippogriff from Harry Potter and it functions pretty much the exact same way as a hippogriff from Harry Potter, and I know it had some different name, but it's literally a hippogriff. There is no difference whatsoever. I get stealing from other science fiction and fantasy properties to make your own original sci-fi fantasy story, but to do that you need to put your own twist on it. And there is no twist in this film. It's just completely stolen. They do the same thing with lightsabers here. And it's just, it's bad. 
You know, like this film, I, despite being really excited for it, like I was genuinely really looking forward to this film, especially after watching the YouTube videos of seeing Zack Snyder break down the trailer and just his total enthusiasm for the project. And to see that it's not great, and if anything, it's bad, baffles me. But also, I feel like I shouldn't be too surprised. But it, it saddens me, because I really liked the Snyder Cut. You know, I'm not somebody who hates Zack Snyder whatsoever. When he makes something that I think is good, I'm honest about it. But here, as much as I wanted this to be good, I saw how poor the Letterboxd reviews were before watching this film, and I was like, I don't care. I'm gonna go into it with an open mind. And if it's actually good, in my opinion, I'm gonna say that on YouTube, even if everyone else is saying that it's bad. But no. It's bad, and that is really upsetting, but this is a two-star movie. What about all of you? Did you actually like this Rebel Moon movie? If you did, let me know in the comments down below, or if you didn't, also let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I want to start a conversation about this film, so yeah, I would just love to hear what you've got to say, and while you're down there, please feel free to like and subscribe. This is a really small channel that I am so passionate about, and I would love to have your support. I'll see you all in the next movie review. Take care.